Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is Down syndrome and is there a way to avoid a baby with Down syndrome? Down syndrome is a genetic condition where people are born with an extra chromosome. Most people have 23 pairs of chromosome within each cell in their body for a total of 46. Now, a person diagnosed with Down syndrome has an extra copy of chromosome 21, which means their cells contain 47 total chromosomes instead of 46. This changes the way their brain and their body develop. What are the risk factors for Down syndrome? Research is ongoing to learn more about the risk factors of Down syndrome, but studies suggest that the risk of giving birth to a child with Down syndrome increases as the parent ages. Women who are 35 or older are more likely to have a child diagnosed with Down syndrome or another type of genetic disease. There are three types of Down syndrome with uh, different causes. Trisomy 21, translocation, mosaicism. Let's look at them very briefly. Trisomy 21 is the most common type of Down syndrome. The term trisomy means having an extra copy of chromosome. Trisomy 21 occurs when a developing fetus has three copies of chromosome 21 in every cell instead of a typical two copies. This type makes about 95% of all cases of Down syndrome. What is translocation Down syndrome then? Translocation is a type of Down syndrome where there is a partial or full amount of chromosome 21 attached to another chromosome. Unlike trisomy 21, translocation occurs when chromosome 21 isn't separate but it relocates to another numbered chromosome. This type of Down syndrome accounts for less than 4% of all cases. Mosaic Down syndrome is the rarest type of Down syndrome and accounts for less than 1% of all cases. Mosaicism occurs when only some cells contain 46 chromosomes and some cells contain 47. The extra chromosome in some cells is chromosome 21 of course. So how is it diagnosed before birth? Your clinician can suspect Down syndrome during pregnancy with a prenatal screening test. They can also diagnose this condition during pregnancy with diagnostic tests. Let's look at some prenatal screening tests. These tests assess your risk of having a child with Down syndrome rather than giving you a confirmation of a diagnosis. Screening tests could be blood tests of the parent's blood to look at indicators of Down syndrome. Is there a way of avoiding Down syndrome before you get pregnant? Yes, there is. If you opt for IVF where eggs are removed from your body and sperms from your husband are used to make embryos, these embryos can be tested for genetic disorders such as Down syndrome. It is called as pre-implantation genetic testing where the number of chromosomes are assessed and if there is a pre-existing problem, that is if you had previous child with Down syndrome or if you're advanced age or if you've lost a fetus previous pregnancy due to this condition, then this embryo can be assessed for that particular problem. And if the embryo is reported as normal, only then the embryo is transferred back into your uterus, thereby increasing your chances of having a normal child. If you want to understand more about Down syndrome, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.